Hello friends, Iceberg with Dylan Brothers Harley Davidson, and today I'm going to take you through a walkthrough of the all new 2020 Harley Davidson Softail Lowrider S. Lowrider S was first introduced in 2016, and obviously that was still on the Dyna platform. Uh, when Harley decided to switch and get rid of the Dyna platform and convert a few of these bikes over to Softails, the Lowrider S did not make it at that time in 2018, in which they only put out the uh, Softail Lowrider Standard, which is what I actually happen to own. Now in 2020, they have brought back the Lowrider S, and I have to tell you, this is an incredible motorcycle. We are gonna go ahead and start with the engine on this bike, where you have the Milwaukee 8 114 engine in here. This is an incredibly powerful engine. So much torque on this motorcycle, on the low end, and even on the high end, when you're still up in six gear on the interstate, you are still gonna get that full Harley torque that you absolutely want on this motorcycle. Coming in at 680 pounds with that Milwaukee 814, this bike absolutely gets up and screams and is gonna put a smile on any motorcyclist's face. One of the major changes for the Lowrider S and now in 2020 is that this is available in two colors. As before, when it was the Dyna series, it was only offered in the vivid black. Now you have this in the Barracuda silver and playing off all the black accents on this motorcycle. I just love how the silver pops off on this. I'll take the camera over so you can see there's really nice uh, pearlescent flake underneath the silver, just really, really pops out in the sunlight and I love that you now have a two color option on here. Uh, the vivid black of course is a you know a beautiful standout but to have the option of getting it in the Barracuda silver as I said playing against all that black on here love the paint scheme on this motorcycle. Sticking true with the Lowrider S format you have the 19 inch front wheel, the 16 inch rear wheel, and it has that matte bronze mags on there, which has just become a staple on these motorcycles. They really stand out. And then you add those Michelin Scorcher tires on here. Just a beautiful handling motorcycle with great looks. And I do really like how you have the taller 19 inch in the front and the 16 inch in the rear. A, the handling's amazing, but it also gives this bike that really low, slam down look from the late 70s and early 80s that just make these bikes so desirable. As a 2018 Softail Lowrider owner myself, there were certain things that, not necessarily a disappointment, but certain things that I wish that they would have stuck with, uh, like the dual disc front brakes. The 18 Softail Lowrider does not have that, but with the 20 Lowrider S, you are getting the full dual disc front brakes up front, which I just absolutely love. The stopping power on this bike is incredible, and when you have that 114 and you're really getting after it, and when you need to stop on a dime, having those dual disc front brakes is excellent. Moving up from the brakes where you have the blacked out inverted front forks. These are 43 millimeter forks. They really give a lot of play when you're out riding a little bit rougher roads. And then moving up from that where you have the stock four inch risers with the motocross style bars on there. I love that these bikes come with those risers. It's, it's definitely suited to a taller rider like myself. Really lets you stretch out on this motorcycle. Feel very nice and comfortable. Arms were at a perfect position, just running straight across. I felt incredibly comfortable on this bike. All of your switches and toggles are exactly where you expect them to be on a Harley Davidson. And then topping off the look of the front end where you have that nice little bullet cowl up there with the matching paint. Once again, just giving that bike the old school look of kind of your FXRs from the 70s and just such a nice aggressive look on the bike. Moving to the gas tank on this Lowrider S, we're keeping with the tradition. You have the dual Speedo and RPM tack on there. This is just a throwback to all the low riders of old. I'm a huge fan of it. My bike has it, these bikes have it, and it's something that is just a staple on these motorcycles. This is a five gallon gas tank on this bike, so you are gonna get a ton of riding time on this motorcycle before you're worrying about hitting the pumps. And then one of the other things that I love on this bike, I love the just beautiful and simple 
Harley Davidson logo running across, painted into the tank, just really pops out there. I'm a big fan of the font and just having that black playing off the silver against everything else black and silver on the bike. It's just an awesome tie-in. Let's move to the center of the bike where you have the single solo seat on this bike. So this bike is definitely a solo rider out of the crate, but you can definitely have the option to put some passenger pegs on, get yourself a two-up seat and some quick detach hardware from our parts counter. But the seating position on this bike, uh, much like mine, very comfortable. I personally love the mid controls. I think that it just gives you such good handling, having all that weight distributed right underneath your center of gravity. I think that the handling on these bikes is absolutely stellar. And with your arms nice and straight across, your back's in a good line, you're sitting up straight and having those mid controls, just fantastic handling on this bike. Moving down on the Lowrider S where you have the dual shotgun style exhaust on here. For a straight up stock exhaust, I think this has a very nice sound, does have some low throat to it, and especially when you're getting after it, you're definitely gonna hear that nice Harley Davidson rumble. Obviously, we all know one of the first things we do is go ahead and change out the exhaust, whether you get some slip-ons, whether you do a full two into one exhaust and a tune, but I can tell you, the stock exhaust does sound nice on this bike, but if you're looking for some good options, obviously on these motorcycles, you can never go wrong with a Vance and Hines system or a two into one Bassani. Really look great on these motorcycles and do really sound fantastic. One final spec note on this motorcycle, this is a six speed transmission on this bike and the final drive on it is belt. I have to tell you personally, taking these out for a ride, and I know I say this a lot and a lot of people leave comments of, oh yeah, typical Harley salesman, you say every bike you ride is great. Look, every bike I ride is great, it's a motorcycle. Uh, if you're not enjoying yourself on a motorcycle, there may be a problem. Look, this bike is incredible to ride. If you don't believe me, stop out at Dylan Brothers Harley Davidson today. Come take it out for yourself. I am pretty sure this bike is gonna put a smile on anyone who rides face. And I absolutely love that Harley has brought back the Lowrider S. As always, from the entire Dylan Brothers Harley Davidson family, thank you so much for checking out our videos. And always remember, gear up, ride safe. Thanks a lot.